Hi, Polly. Um, Hello, what have you been doing outside? Hmm? Oh, I've been gathering uh, things for the art project for today. Hmm. Uh, is that trash? Oh, no, CC. This is, uh, some people call it trash, but I call it happy trash because we can uh, use these things to discover about texture. Texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what else can you do with them? Mm -hmm. Well, you can make rubbings. This is going to be our art project for today to make rubbings. Rubbings? Uh huh. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, oh, oh, well, rubbings. Oh, yes. I love rubbing. Mm -hmm. I'll do that some more. Right behind my left oh, ear, would right. you? Mm -hmm. Well, do you know I can discover mm -hmm. texture as I rub your fur because your fur is so soft? Oh, yes. Well, I love for you to rub my fur. It feels so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels good to me to make art, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but tell me, uh, what can you do with all this? Uh, hmm. Trash you found. Happy trash. Oh, happy trash. Some I'm artists sorry. call these things found objects. Mm -hmm. Well, now we can discover texture. Uh, the school artists can pick things up like this and discover texture. For example, oh. this is mm -hmm. a piece of bark. Oh, yes, it's a little rough. Oh, it's really Very rough on this side there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's right, and I can use that in my rubbing. Mm -hmm. Then I have uh, some cedar here. And it here, would you? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is sort of feathery, a uh, little needle-like. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. We need to learn uh, to describe things like this. Here mm -hmm. is, here's a leaf. Now, it's very slick oh, and smooth one's... on one side. Yes, I see. Oh, but... and it has ridges on the other. Right. Right, side. the veins mm -hmm. of the leaf, uh-huh. Oh, yes, that's really nice. That's yeah. right. And here, yeah. look, I found some uh, wood. Oh, yes, this has a, uh, would you say a grainy texture? A grainy texture, mm -hmm. that's right. Yes, I see a knot there like this one on my head back uh -huh. here. Mm -hmm. And as you said, uh, my ring here. Oh, yes, that's yeah. very smooth. Oh, very, that feels so nice. Very I like that, I like that. I even have this. Oh. Oh, no. It's an old strawberry basket, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> With but no strawberries. I noticed you emptied it before you came. I like to feel the texture on my tongue. <laughs> mm -hmm. It <laughs> tastes good, too. I love strawberries. Oh, yeah. But how can you uh, make a rubbing from this? I thought it had to be flat. No, mm -hmm. not really. I could turn it up on the end. We did a rubbing over there. Or yeah. I could break it, and that would make a great fence. That would make a, a good rubbing. Mm-hmm. But uh, just what is a rubbing? Uh, is it art? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it really is art. Look, here is a, this is known as a tombstone rubbing, and the school artist went out with crayon and paper and uh, laid the paper on the tombstone mm -hmm. and rubbed until you could see the letters. Mm, it and says uh, James H. Love, huh? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's the man's name. And he was born way back April oh. 19th, 18th, 1875. Oh, my goodness. And mm -hmm. he died July the 8th, 1909. Oh. So you can discover about history and mm -hmm. your community. And it has something at the bottom, too. What's yes, that? Yes, mm -hmm. even poetry. In poetry? Art. Uh huh. It says, a loving husband, mm -hmm. a father dear, hmm. a faithful friend is buried here. Oh, oh isn't that sweet? It's lovely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You know where she had to go to get this rubbing? Nope. Where? To a graveyard. <gasps> graveyards? Oh, no, I can't stand graveyards. I'm scared of graveyards. No, 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 no. Oh, but you, you no wouldn't be in the oh, daytime. No. No, I think I think it would be fine. Well, I I, so. I, let's get on to the project. School artist, okay. let's do a rubbing now. Let me take the things over. And you watch, CC, okay. while, while we learn about rubbings. It's really as much fun to gather your objects as it is to do the rubbing. And these are the things that you'll need. First of all, you need paper. Let me look in my paint box here and get paper, crayons, you can use charcoal, you can even use your pencil for rubbing. Now this paper is onion skin, you might try it, it's very thin. Most of you school artists have newsprint or thin drawing paper or manila paper, and this is drawing paper. 
So I'm going to use it. You'll have to discover which works best for you. Now this is a large sheet of drawing paper and I'm going to fold it. And when I fold paper, I like to get the two corners together and go straight over to the middle and fold it. And the reason I think it's important for you to fold it is sometimes whatever you're working on slips around on your table or wherever you're working. Now I have that leaf and can you guess? I have it turned wrong. I think it would be more interesting if I have the veins up. So let's start with that and see what a rubbing looks like. I'm using a bright black crayon. You might try broken crayons, but you see, I just kind of turn it to the side and I go in one direction while I'm working on this and I kind of feel it coming through. I'm holding it with one hand, even though it's in the paper, I still have to hold it with one hand and use the other hand for the rubbing. And I can work until I see the edges of the leaf and the ledges, just edges of the leaf just sort of come through. And I'll go a little past the leaf. And now I think it would be nice to go to another color. I think it would be kind of interesting for you to choose about three different colors. And you can plan your rubbing to have one color with a different color next to it. Move it around on the paper, whatever feels good to you and whatever looks good. And the more rubbings you make, the more you'll discover how to uh, balance them. Now this looks kind of like a group of beautiful trees to me. Let's try another color against that. Just move your leaf around. You can do an entire rubbing with one object using different colors, or you might choose several things to work from. You begin to get the idea. Now let's try something else. I have a delightful, uh, oh, it's just, uh, I don't even know where I found it. I just collect things, but look what happens when I use this. Let's take the leaf out, and I can make nice, bumpy ground with this. I might even, you know, it would be kind of interesting. That looks kind of like a certain kind of material. You can draw a picture, and you might use this for the fabric, the person's dress. Now I'd like to put in another background color, and I can use, uh, here, I think I'll use this grainy texture and see how it looks. Let me put that right there. Let's see how it looks. That could be a post. Or I might use that entire color for my sky. Could fill that in. I have one thing in here I want you to see. I had so much fun. Here is, a, I think it's a popsicle stick. Makes a great fence. And since I have something that looks kind of like rock here, now let's use this color. See what happens as I rub it? I think it would be a good project for you to see how many things, how many different things you can find, gather them. It's always fun to go outside and get ready for an art project and then come inside. You know, I wonder how CC is. CC, do you uh, kind of see how this is working? Look at, are you discovering things with yours? Yeah, look at that, that's a nice fence. Let me go on across. Now, I, I think those make kind of nice posts. Now I want to go this way with it. And I, it will sort of begin to look like, oh, maybe a garden with bushes or trees. Let me take the fence on across. I might even look for something round and put a sun in the sky. You see, everybody's rubbing will be different depending on what you find and the way you 
arrange it on your paper. Now, just as soon as I put some sky in this, I'll have a finished rubbing. It wouldn't even have to have sky. I think that you'll have a good time uh, discovering. So look around, see how many different things you can find to make a rubbing. What do you think of that? Oh, CC, what have you been doing there? Oh, look at this, Polly. I made a rubbing. Yeah, was it nice? Hmm? You certainly did. Now. Uh, I have a rubbing. Let's look at your mm, rubbing, Cece. Isn't that lovely? Oh, you used a leaf. I yeah. can tell. Uh, tell me, are there any other ways for an artist to show texture? Hmm? Oh, yes. An artist uh, likes to show texture in a painting. I just finished painting this morning. In fact, that's where I found the bark and a lot of the different things. Mm. And in this barn, I tr tried to show the roof of it. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted it to look like iron, corrugated, wavy, mm -hmm. wrinkle roof. Mm, it looks like a roof that I've been on top of before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you'd slip because it even looks like you might slip a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's look at some slip. other textures in it. Oh, here, look at the fence there. Oh, here is an old fence mm -hmm. and uh, has rough wooden textures. Mm -hmm. Now see, I made a fence in my rubbing in a different manner, see? Mm -hmm. and, but in the painting, I painted it in mm -hmm. the rubbing. I had, I really had it there. There's some other th ways that an artist shows texture up here, scraping. But as you see, this painting, this watercolor painting is a flat surface, just two dimensions. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the artist shows texture uh, in the gravel in the front there. You can, oh, you that's very nice, very just, nice. Just splashed a little bit there. Mm, so oh, you like look at my leaf. This is really fun. I really enjoyed it. My leaf, a perfect little leaf. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun doing this, mm -hmm. and I think the school artists will have fun. See how many different things that you can find, and then discover the texture of each one in your when you make a rubbing. That's right. <laughs> Rub my ears some more, would you? Oh, please. My oh, you. oh, mm. Mm. oh, that feels so good. I like that. <laughs>